Hi everyone, in today's video I'll be going over the instructions for the Good Teas Indigo Dye Kit. So in the kit you will receive your Fair Trade Organic 100% Organic Cotton T-shirt in either unisex adult, youth, or toddler. And in the kit you will receive your instructions along with 10 rubber bands for trying tie-dye or resist dyeing techniques and of course you can also um, just fully immerse the t-shirt and try dip dyeing and or fully dyeing a garment and in the kit you'll receive 20 grams of indigo 40 grams of calx also known as calcium hydroxide oxide base or a pickling lime and also 60 grams of fructose sugar which is known as the reducing agent and this is what turns your dye bath into a greenish yellow color. Along with um, all the tools that you receive um, you will also need warm running water and also a clean reactive vessel such as this one which is a plastic pail and it should just be big enough so that when you put the t-shirt in um, the water won't overflow and as well you'll need a, just a second bucket or vessel so that you can drip um, into it and that one can be a little bit smaller and as well as um, the bucket and the water you will need a wooden spoon or just something for stirring and as well as some gloves just to protect your hands and a face mask Natural dyeing is a beautiful process that can be broken up into steps and can span from two plus days depending on the results you want to achieve. It can, it can be slow and time consuming, but the steps do not have to be done all at once. At any point in the process, the pots and fabrics can sit and wait. For example, you can pre-wash and create the vat one day and dye another day. The t-shirts must be pre-washed. Kids under the age of 18 should be accompanied by an adult. Step two, create the vat. The vat will be best the day after you make it to allow the indigo to fully dissolve. In a well-ventilated space, fill up the large container with 15 liters of warm tap water. Leave enough room so that it won't overflow when the t-shirt is put in. Then you add the powders to the warm water. Never start with the powder in the vat. Always start with the water. While stirring, slowly empty the calx into the water. Next, slowly empty the indigo packet and then the fructose. Stir slowly in one circular motion, creating a slight whirlpool to help dissolve and mix. The color will turn a greenish yellow. Avoid splashing and creating bubbles, which will produce oxygen, which you are trying to get rid of. Producing oxygen will make the dye in inactive. Test the dye. Before you te dye, test the vat by putting a small scrap of cotton fabric into the liquid. Leave it for 10 minutes, take it out. It should be a green color and it will slowly turn blue as it is exposed to the air. Step four, preparing the t-shirt. If you'd like to experiment with patterns, use the string or the rubber bands provided or any other tools to fold, tie or bind your t-shirt. If you want to learn more about experimenting with different techniques, you can search how to tie dye or shibori on YouTube. You can also submerge the entire garment into the vat to do a full color dye or you can also do ombre effects. There's so many things you can do with tie dyeing. Step five. Fully immerse and soak the t-shirt in warm water for 15 or 20 minutes. This step helps to ensure that it is evenly dyed with no marks or streaks. Remove the t-shirt after 15 or 20 minutes. Gently submerge the wet t-shirt into the vat. Be careful not to introduce oxygen by stirring fast and creating bubbles or the dye will become inactive. Keep the t-shirt in the vat for 15 to 30 minutes. If you want the fabric to be evenly dyed, move around a few times. When ready, remove the t-shirt from the vat. 
you may need to gently squeeze the liquid back into the vat as you pull it out. Splash as little as possible to prevent adding oxygen. As the fabric is released into the air, it becomes oxidized, slowly changing from green turquoise to blue. It's truly a magical thing to see. Step six, rinsing and neutralizing. Allow the fabric to sit approximately 24 hours before the final rinse of cold water. If you have tie dyed or shibori, take off the rubber bands or resist tools before leaving it to dry overnight. A final rinse with the water, water and vinegar neutralizes the dye. And there you have it. Share your work with us. Take us in a video or share photos of your work, process or complete projects at the good tea, hashtag good dye kit or email us at hello at the good tea .com.